guess we're going. <laughs> okay. Let's see about this one. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So, um, I'm not going to take it out of there and show you all this, but uh, we are going to race. Oh, as soon as I get the lock off. Then, oh, we've got to be down there by eight o'clock to watch the, the long racers take off and kind of get a feel for what's going on. Oh, uh, be the wrong time. Okay, so. The little scooter is tuned and ready. We have been working on this. Oh, getting ready for this. I don't even want to use the battery. <laughs> I want to save the battery for the race. Let's see. I suppose I can do that. Just my gear down here. Saving the battery for the race. Okay. We got a very good day here right now. 75 miles. That's the race. I count and getting down there and back. So far gonna be the longest range day. Racing gloves. <laughs> Make it go faster. Yeah, I don't even have the battery turned on. I'm just pedaling. Save the battery. Oh, then I need it. I'm just race. Put the brand new battery on. So we'll see what the range is. I've got a survival kit basically on board. I've got my green chili and tortilla, and candy bars, boiled salted eggs, salted boiled eggs, and uh, everything I should need. Oh, a couple of a couple of joints too, just in case. Got to add that. Who knows how today is going to go? God, please be with us today. Please go with me and enjoy this day and get a victory, Lord, and, and help me not to be an asshole. I know I'm prone to it. I'll try not to.
That's a different story without a battery. <clears throat> but it's still a badass story. Just my suspenders. <sighs> I got stealth suspenders on, you know. Don't trust a man who's got stealth suspenders, especially when he wears them with a belt. That's a long story. I won't bother to explain. But I got stealth suspenders and a belt. I, Oh, Teddy Roosevelt. Oh, Teddy Roosevelt. Scooter is fine tuned and ready to go, rolling like a champ. Reduce my air pressure, my tires just a little bit for the gravel road conditions. Breathing is an interesting thing. Well, I got a lot to say about that, but I'm not going to say it right now, I guess. Well, maybe I didn't get enough, nothing better to do. Uh, a lot of things about breathing. It's not just how much you can breathe in, it's also how much you can breathe out. You have to get the old air out, get fresh air in. The only way you can get fresh air in is if there's room for it. You've got to get the old air out. Squeeze it out. Fill up again. Fresh air. And uh, there's a thing called turbo breathing that most people don't know about. It, uh, um, you got two lungs, see? And if you do it right, it's kind of an exaggerated, kind of a little bit ridiculous. But uh, if you do it right, one lung will collapse and the other will expand. And uh, now if you think of your engines, you've got your different engines. Well, this is like using like a turbo V-twin. One's breathing in, one's breathing out at the same time, and then vice versa. Most people don't know about turbo breathing. Uh, it's also, it, it's, it's, it's extraordinary, and you got to try it out to, to know how, cap how what it can do for you. If you run and you make the real exaggerated movements, it looks ridiculous, but you can run faster and farther, not faster farther. It's kind of hard to run faster in that ridiculous motion. Anyway, uh, the most important thing is you got to breathe the old air out. And yes, you want lung capacity where you can breathe in plenty of good, big, fresh air to support the cells in your body.
our bodies don't need all this medicine, injections, and masks, and all this horse shit. Our bodies are remarkable. <clears throat> and God's remarkable. Every breath we take is miracles upon miracles to make that breath possible. So anyway, all we need, our bodies need to have is air and water. A little bit of food and a pinch of salt, the electrolyte, that's important too. All the rest of it's bullshit. If your bodies are doing that, you're going to be healthy. If it's not, if you've got problems with that, then that's the deal. Most of the time, most of the problems in this world, medical problems, are caused by medical interventions. Trying to fix the human body, which is nearly perfect creation. It is for Earth. Anyway. I didn't forget anything. No battery, it's a trip. <laughs> I'm not used to this. Yeah, I can't see anybody being able to keep up. It's 15 miles an hour without a motor. It's just, I don't think it's possible. I'm gonna have to take my wallet and put it in the pack. I don't want to lose it on the road. I might empty my pockets all together. I don't know, it's probably a good idea. camera on the front is going to be nice, the GoPro. Hopefully we'll get a good race perspective and some very good uh, Colorado scenery. Basically 62 years old next month. Anyway, I don't know how much longer I'll be able to do all this stuff. Hopefully for a long time. But who knows? Be there by eight. I want to watch the 
the first tracers take off and, uh, and we'll be staging for, for our race. I kind of wish I had me some biscuits and gravy. But it's best off to not load up. And these sort of things, you know. Oh. Oh, I work, I'd always have my biscuits and gravy before I got started. And we'd work hard. I would anyway. You know, that's what's going on here too. Ever has a sponsor in this race. My old employer. They fired me because I was the union president. After the company fired me. The union fired me. All my brothers and sisters put me out. I still cry about it. Goddamn, it's getting on 10 years later. I got an axe to grind. race. I'm going to win this race for the strike of 97. I'm going to win this race for Charlie Kennedy. God and country. There's good doggies. There's good doggies. Pardon me. <laughs> so yeah, I was trying to trying to give you the ding. I'm sorry. I didn't even hear. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Pardon me. You too. Thank you. Yeah, without the motor, this thing's really quiet. Shouldn't be. I guess I'm warming my legs up, that's all. Just warming them up. Okay. Yeah. I just, I gotta keep my house in class. But I'm gonna show them. I'm gonna win this race. I got a grudge, I guess. I'm gonna get it on my sister. Something, maybe. Who knows, God's got it all. God's the one who lined all this up. Me too. So, and them too. Sinus is his key to breathing too. You gotta know that's the key, your brain. And, uh, everything else needs that oxygen more than anything. You're breathing through your nose and out through the mouth. 
Now it's kind of an exhaust pipe. Here's to that, you know. Happens to be our intake for food. <laughs> uh, God's a genius. Howdy. Going down again. We're still in the high range. I'm in second gear though. So. Charlie horsepower. Right now, currently, I'm running on one Charlie horsepower. When I turn the motor on, I have 10 Charlie horsepower, plus my one makes 11 Charlie horsepower. That's badass. You don't want 11 Charlie horsepower. Oh, messing with you. I guess I was supposed to wear this shirt, probably. I'm turning the motor on. Okay. 611 miles. That's it. So we'll go up that. So for the range, for the record, brand new battery turned on at 611 miles. I'm going to try and make it to Beulah on this one battery. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. I should check and show my lights in the room. Save my juice. That's a little sufficient line. Even with my battery on, I'm not, not using it too much. Got to make you a uh, strong hope. 
over 40 miles under race conditions is a good range for a battery. Damn good range. And it's brand new, so it won't never do, go farther than it's going on this trip. Each time they, you know, just a little bit, not noticeable, but each time it's a little less downhill run, you know what I mean? Probably should have brought my damn t-shirt. I don't know. It's not my racing gear. Morning. Good morning. There's a good doggy. Six hundred and twelve. There's a mile. First mile on a new battery.
Here's a beautiful morning. I got me a job in the city. Working for the man living a hand in me. And I never lost my dinner or sleep. And I went over the day. Oh, I love my solo chariot. The Riverwalk chariot. I go all day and I go all night on my solo river rock chariot. Yeehaw! <laughs> I'm happy. Are you riding tomorrow? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep, I'm looking forward to it so much. I won't be riding the chariot, I'll be riding my little scooter, it's my racer. Oh yeah? You can kind of set up? Yeah, I'm going to try and win. Alright. <laughs> Hopefully I don't crash. <laughs> no, well, we hope not. Got me a job in the city, working for the man every night and day. Working to keep two people living, working for the way things might have been. The big wheels keep on turning and turning, I'm going to keep on burning and burning and rolling, rolling, rolling on the river, rolling on the river. Da 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 Washed a lot of plates in Memphis Pumped a lot of pain down in New Orleans And I never saw the good side of the city Till I hitched a ride on the riverboat queen The big wheels keep on turning and turning I'm going to keep on burning and burning and rolling, rolling, rolling on the river, rolling on the river. Now, if you go down on the river, I bet you're going to find some people who live. You don't have to worry if you got no money. People on the river are happy to give. The big wheels keep on turning and turning. I'm gonna keep on burning and burning and rolling, rolling, rolling on the river, rolling on the river. Da 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 da. I almost crashed a chariot coming down this the other day. Oh, that was scary as hell. Going like 20 miles an hour. And hit a, a big hole in the road. And it threw it into a high speed bouncing shimmy between these rails. It was <laughs> not much clearance. I think I hear them down there. They're getting with it. They're having their safety meeting, sounds like.
a big hole in the wood right there. Kind of sneaks up on you. There it is. Yeah, you know some of the bits. Boy, that was a bad deal there. Almost a wham bam, thank you, Dan. See your hickory rolling down the road. I think they just took off. Okay. Well, it took me 41 minutes to get down there. I guess that was it. Okay. 
Yep, about half an hour we'll be staging. trophies this year and I wanted to share this so you knew what you're fighting for. It's 756 in case you're wondering. This year is the Grassroots Gravel 2024 first place trophy. Okay, This is made out of railroad rail that's milled here in Pueblo. Pueblo's got one of the biggest steel mills in the U.S. So rail from Pueblo, Colorado is getting rolled on all over the world, all over the state. And uh, Boreas Campers, Plasma Cut, these plates that are on here, Ever has cut the rail, and then they were welded together by a guy that rides with us every Red Creek rally. So we're really proud of these and excited about them. And it weighs like 15 or 20 pounds, so like it's actually kind of tiring. So whoever takes this thing, just make sure you bring your steel toe boots onto the podium. All right, and we've got a bunch of exciting stuff. So I hope that y'all are feeling good. We've got three minutes, and uh, thanks for being here. Everybody get ready. We are going to roll in about 30 seconds. Check, check, riders. Here we go. We'll let this guy get out of the uh, corral there. Thanks for being here, man. 10. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ride safely. Ride safely. Take your time, folks. Take your time. It's going to be a neutral, very chill rollout. Ride safely, everybody. Thank you for being here. Go get them. Let's cheer those riders on. Have fun out there. See our beautiful county. It's an amazing place to be. It's an amazing place to live, but it's also a very fun place to visit. So please come back again when you're not racing. Check it out and tell your friends and family about your experience here. I am so impressed with your perseverance to be able to get through all of this. I was just talking to someone. I used to be a runner and 13 miles was about as far as I can go. So to know how far you all are going to be riding all day long, God bless you guys. Have a great time because I could never do it. It's amazing what you guys do for fun. Um, and I just, I have so much inspiration looking at this entire group of people who are ready to go tackle this. So thank you for all that you do. Thank you for bringing everyone to Pueblo. I hope you love it as much as we do. Um, this is a tremendous place to live. And I hope that you all can share that message when you go home today. Thank you, Denea. All right, folks. It is 8.54. I'll give you a couple minutes to chat amongst yourselves, stretch out, make sure you get your snacks, high five somebody, give a smooch to your partner off to the side, whatever it is you want to do. Thanks for being here. through town all right once you finish your timing through stem beach there'll be there'll be a timing mat there a flag okay it's between the lakes once you get out of stem beach you're not racing there's no racing through town oh thank you good luck riders that's my daughter We made that. All right, for you folks at the front that might be interested in this, this is our trophy this year, and it's legitimately hard to hold it up like this. So the Everest Rocky Mountain Steel Mill cut segments of the railroad that is milled in Pueblo, Colorado. If you didn't know Pueblo was one of the biggest steel mills in the U.S., 
and there are trains rolling on their rail all over the U.S. and all over the world. And so these trophies are made of Pueblo, Colorado Railroad Rail. Boris campers here in town, plasma cut the plates on these, and then our friend Josh that rides with us every Tuesday welded them all together. So these things couldn't be more Pueblo and we're proud of them. And also, make sure you bring your steel toe boots when you're holding it on the podium. We have three minutes. Riders for the half, the 75 miler, if you are here to ride the half, you need to get into the starting corral right now. Riders, if you are here for the half, it is that time, get into that starting corral. We've got less than two minutes, less than two minutes. For the kickoff of Grassroots Gravel 2024's The Half 75 Mile Course. I hope that you all have so much fun. Once again, a reminder for our riders, you are going to follow behind law enforcement until the start of the gravel. And then you can do whatever you want to do. Look, within reason, you've got to follow traffic laws. <laughs> Thirty seconds, riders. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Have at it. Ride safe. Take your time. Take your time behind the vehicles. Thank you for being here, everybody. Ride safe. Have fun.
But it's okay. Hope you went too. to thy perfect light. Born a king on Bethlehem's plain, gold I bring, proud him be, king forever, ceasing never, over us all to reign. Oh, star of wonder, star of light, Star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guides to thy perfect light. Frank and sense to offer have I. Sorry? You got any beer in the cooler? No, I don't. I got cannabis though.
cannabis. That's the right. Do it too. Going ten miles. Here we go out here. What a shot. Big rock.
sure hope so. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> I'm going 25 miles an hour and they're beating me. <laughs> Damn! These guys ain't messing around. Establishing myself as a leader. Uh, for that. These people are insane. Oh, we got motors. I'm gonna open my house.
are awesome. Uh, uh, I don't know about that. I got Charlie horsepower motor.
Sure, Charlie horsepower. Looks pretty good.
My soul, old chariot, the river walk chariot. I go all day and I go all night on my soul, old river walk chariot. Yeehaw! <laughs> I'm happy. Are you riding tomorrow? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep, I'm looking forward to it. So much. I won't be riding the chariot, I'll be riding my little scooter. It's my racer. Oh, yeah? In front of setup? Yeah, I'm gonna try and win. All right. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't crash. <laughs> no, well, we hope not. Got me a job in the city, working for the man every night and day. Working to keep two people living, working for the way things might have been. The big wheels keep on turning and turning, I'm going to keep on burning and burning and rolling, rolling, rolling on the river, rolling on the river. Da 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 Washed a lot of plates in Memphis Pumped a lot of pain down in New Orleans And I never saw the good side of the city Till I hitched a ride on the riverboat queen The big wheels keep on turning and turning I'm gonna keep on burning and burning and rolling, rolling, rolling on the river, rolling on the river. Now if you go down on the river, I bet you're gonna find some people who live. You don't have to worry if you got no money. People on the river are happy to give. The big wheels keep on turning and turning. I'm gonna keep on burning and burning and rolling, rolling, rolling on the river, 
rolling on the river. Da 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 Just slowing down, huh?